Hi guys, Judy here. God bless you. It is um, November 14th, Wednesday. And um, I just wanted to share. Let me turn my phone down. I've got getting some texts here. Um, I was sitting with, I've been sitting with God. It's really early in the morning and um. He's so sad. And I just want to call all brides to sit with our king. I don't know which emotion you're going to share with him. But this season and this time, this is about sitting with him in the garden. He's about to go to the cross, but not to save the world because he's already done that. Sit with him in the garden before his hour of trial where he must begin the tribulation but he must take the bride first we are on the precipice of the rapture on the at the end of all things guys this is it and i just it is so important to be still and to stop everything and i'm saying keep carrying on as in the days of noah because we have families to support we have things each one of us has to do so you know you're you do what you have to do in this world and you're led by god doing it okay there was a season where he had me stop working for two years, um, which I've never done since I was like 16. Okay. Well, when my son was born, I took time off, but, um, but I've always worked. I like working. Um, and then there was a season where he said, okay, now we're, well, I had to go back to work. Um, and yeah, I just want to do this with you. And father, I just, sit with the bride right now we sit with you we just want to dry your tears with our faith let our faith dry your tears but we sit with you while you're while you are sad you told me this morning <laughs> that your plan is dying <laughs> His planet is dying. This planet that he made and for his glory and for our beauty and our enjoyment. It's dying. That's what he told me. Now we know that this planet has been dying. You know, we're always in decay because of sin. But it's dying. This is the this is the end. And he's very sad because it's dying at a, a rapid rate of increase and it's you don't think that's hard for our king? We serve an almighty, powerful, majestic God. Is he capable of feeling? Is he capable of tears? Is he... Yeah. We're made in his image. So, yes. This morning, he was... I, I see his tears. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the tears of our groom. So, can you share that? Can you share that with me? Can you share that with him? Let's all take a part of his heart and let's comfort and let's encourage him. I'm seeing the tears today. Sometimes I see other parts of our a magnificent king of kings whose emotions are all across the board and who's because he's God, you know, and we're made in his image. And that's why we can be like that at times, right? All with the control, though. God is not. And when I talked about him like this, he is not some weak God that he would cry that his planet's dying. That is not weakness. He is not weak. He can step in and stop everything. He's powerful. Look at the great restraint he has. That is not wimp. That is not a wimp. That's a God that will suffer to save one more. Yamarakiri, Yamarakai, you're so sweet, God. You're so nice. You're so long suffering. Yamarakiri, Yamarakai, we love you, Lord. Oh, God, we love you. We love you, our groom. Draw us closer to your heart. We, we choose to come closer to your heart. We choose, we choose, we choose, we choose of our own will this morning. As the planet around us is dying, it's dying, it's dying. That's what you told me this morning. It's dying it's dying <laughs> it's dying i'm 
from watching my planet die. And yes, you're powerful to restore it and make a new one. But it's the season to mourn and say goodbye to it. And so we sit with you and we mourn and we're going to rejoice with you in the new planet. We love you, Jesus. We love you, our groom. We love you, our groom. Yes, it is sad. And we sit with you and, and we say sorry as a human race, you know, sorry. You know, if you've ever thrown a piece of garbage on the ground, sorry. When I first got saved at 16 in my bedroom, um, in that first year, he showed me so many things. It was such an amazing time. Things I'll never forget. And I'll never forget. My whole life, I've littered. You know, up until that point. I was a teenager. You know, you litter, throw gum, you throw garbage. think no one's looking, right? It's not right, but I did. And I'll never forget on my way to work, I threw a piece of garbage like I normally do. Just carelessly. And his, his heart, I heard him so clear, his voice, very clear. And he said, Please don't destroy my earth. It was like, and I picked it up. I've never been so convicted. And it was like, he wasn't commanding me. It was like, he was sad that I wouldn't take good care and be a steward of the planet. It was amazing. I'll never forget. And since that day, I do not litter. I, I'm freaked out about litter. I tell my son, pick it up. Don't put it there. <laughs> I'm just like a freak about that, you know? And it's so weird because I'm like, because of that one time. We are stewards of this planet, you know, and so we just repent, God, that this place is a mess. We repent for our part in it, and we're sorry, God, that your planet's dying. And we know there's people that are much, that are sinister and very evil, that are destroying it at a rapid pace as we speak, that are, are and, and um, we ask you to save them as well. We ask you to forgive them. Forgive us, Lord, our groom. We love you. We love you. We sit with you. We sit with you. I just felt like the Lord said to invite you in my quiet time, groom, uh, bride, to invite you in my quiet, quiet time. Um, that I woke up sad and it wasn't I thought was it me sometimes I I have to you know in this walk with God and we're in this realm and we're also seated in heavenly places in, in that realm so we have to distinguish you know like I, I woke up and I and I was like well God is, am I, is it did I not get enough sleep you know I always try to rule out the natural things before I just assume it's God right and and he showed me it was him. His heart is him because I was, I don't feel good. My throat's killing me. I think, you know, we're having things in our air that are really bad because I'm just, uh, I take really good care of myself. I'm super energetic and have lots of energy and I'm just, um, really feeling drained. I know it's the air cause we can't get out, can't really go outside. And, um, and he said, it's dying, it's all dying. And he's, isn't it neat that he lets us be touched by it? I'm glad I'm touched by it. I'm glad I'm feeling wheezy. I'm glad I'm, you know, feeling symptoms in my body of a dying planet. It just confirms that we're all dying and at a rapid pace. And he's coming though. And it encourages me. I'm excited, you guys. I'm not complaining. I'm excited. I'm so excited because I know that we go up from the promise of his word. But mostly in my life, it's the promise of the 10-year-old prophet who's now 15 when God fell on him in 2013 and I changed my life. I've been a watcher ever since because he's coming. This is the season we're in. So I'm excited when I'm wheezy. I'm excited. I Please don't, you know, thank you for your prayers on this mission trip today to the fires that we're heading out in a few hours. But, I mean, don't feel sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I can share in the suffering of this planet. I'm happy that I'm not sitting in an ivory tower giving this word. I'm sitting here suffering in this birth pain. I'm, my animals are suffering. My cat threw up yesterday. He's been wheezing. He has, he, he's got, um, it's like some asthma thing. He's having a hard time breathing. And, um, and we just prayed over him and then he seemed to appear to get better. 
And I just said, Lord, you're going to keep our animals up until you come and take them with us. My son saw Jesus rapturing the pets when he was 10 and he had one in each arm. So the house pets, the angels are big. And, but some angels got, some pets got one angel all to themselves. I'll never forget that. I smiled so big when my son said it, mom, some pets get an angel all to themselves. <laughs> it was glorious. Those days were glorious and they're glorious now. I like today even more because we're so much closer to his, seeing him and seeing the fulfillment of everything he showed the little prophet. And he, he, but most of what he saw were the angels having one pet in one arm safely fastened. There's no fear. And another pet in another arm. And they were going up with two, two by two, you know, like two pets. And then the next, you know, he just saw them all shooting up glorious. The angels are here to just bless us, guys. God's angels, Satan's demons are here to tear you apart. God's angels are here to bless us. We love you, Daddy. We sit with you. We're sorry that your planet's dying. We repent for our part in it and say, sorry, God. We're sorry. We sit with you as you watch your planet die and we say, we're sorry. Don't you hate it when you're going through something and someone tries to cheer you up and all you really want to do is for them to just hold your hand and just hear what you're saying and just sit with you in it. Don't try to put a bandaid on it and make it better because there's not, nothing you can do. You can just sit with me and hold my hand and and listen to me. Ah, That's what God is asking us for. Yamarakiri, just sit with him, hold his hand, and be with him. Yamarakiri, and please do not mistake this video for him being some weak, crybaby God who has no power because he has all power and he could change it this moment. He could change everything this very moment, but he suffers with humanity. He suffers with us because he's so slow to anger, abounding in love, the Bible says. Oh, I don't even need the Bible to know that he's slow to anger, abounding in love. I woke up today feeling his slow to anger, abounding in love presence. We need the Bible though. Read the word. I, I didn't mean it like that, but what I meant is I didn't need the word to tell me that because I've experienced the whole 20 plus years of my life, his slow to anger, abounding in love presence. Yamada kiri yamada. But if you don't know it, believe what the Bible says and quote it. Quote the Bible until you feel it and know it. I just happen to have had tons of experience in his abounding love and kindness, slow to anger. Oh, he's so good. And he's doing this for you. And he's doing this for me. His long suffering is for us. Yamarakiri, but Bri, there's not much more time. And this is why he has me taking a day off work um, and going into the fires. Yamarakiri, Yamarakiri, Makai. Am I looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to him. Am I looking forward to the... No, I'm not. I'm going to tell you on a natural level, I would rather not. Okay? I would rather not. But I love my king. And I will do what he says. And I'm an adrenaline junkie for my king, for spiritual excitement. And I'm going to get a fix today because he's going to do something. Because he told me to go, and I'm going. But do I want to drive into smoke? I mean, this is bad enough, 180 miles away. The fires are still burning. There is some danger. I mean, I'm not afraid at all. I mean, I'm afraid to stay home because there's danger when you're not in the perfect presence of God. See, I could get in a car accident if I stay home. But if I go and follow him, I'm perfectly safe, even though I'm headed into fires. And there's some containment on them, but it's bad. It's bad. Someone on the next door app we have in our area said they heard a loud explosion and a boom last night. Did anyone else hear it? Right down the street, it was on the next door app. And I just smiled to God and I said, boy, you're waking up everybody. You're waking everybody up, Lord. This earth is dying. This planet is dying. And if you are planning a future here, I encourage you to sit with the king of the universe. His name is God, Jesus Christ. He's the three in one. He's the Holy Trinity. Say, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, mighty Jehovah God, will you show me what time it is? Will you confirm it to you? Will you speak to me? I guarantee you he will, and he will tell you. And I bless you, bride. I bless you. I'm going to do one more video. I don't feel like our time together is up.